in the next update to the music player, we will take advantage of the availability of the action bar in Android, and then we'll shift the playlist button to the action bar. In addition, we'll also support a gesture, um, the right to left gesture on the screen, which will um, pop up the playlist onto the screen. So to do that, let's first concentrate on implementing the action bar. So we'll open up the music activity.java and then go down to the end of the music activity.java file and then we'll um, declare a action bar variable here. So uh, action bar and then get action bar. So this gives us access to the action bar. Now we can implement, um, and then obviously, as you see, we need to import the action bar uh, library there. And then we'll say action bar set display display show home enabled to, to, to true. So we'll be able to display the home button in there. And, and also set display show title enabled also to true okay so this will display the title of the um, uh, player uh, of the app there in the action bar now in addition we need to implement two methods uh, inside the action bar first and foremost we need to uh, implement on create options menu so that that will help us to to add the menu items to the action bar and also on options selected uh, on options item selected uh, method which will implement the um, the uh, listener for uh, when any item in the action bar is clicked uh, before we do that let's introduce um, a menu XML file. So to do that, we'll go to resources and then create a subfolder named menu. And then inside the menu folder, we will create a new Android XML file of the type menu. So um, and uh, we'll label it as simply menu. Okay. So once the file is created, inside the menu file, we need to implement a few um, items in there. So we will add into the item we'll add a menu uh, menu item in there so uh, to do that we'll just just use the um, xml version of the menu and then type in the information in here so we'll go in and add a item and then let's give it a Android ID and we'll call it ampersand plus action playlist and then also we'll give it an icon name and for the icon we will simply use the same icon 
that we have been using for the playlist button and also show as action as if room. So this basically says that this item should be put in the action bar as long as there is enough room for the button to be included in the action bar. In this particular case, since this is the only button, so it will obviously appear in the uh, button and then also give it a title and write title and I will name it as playlist and return and then let's save the menu file. Now this menu file will be used to create the menu that is displayed on the uh, uh, within the action bar. So to do that, uh, let's go back to the um, music activity and then add in a couple of uh, uh, methods to the music activity. So we'll say source override implement methods. And then the two methods that I'm going to implement is on create options menu. on create options menu and then also on options item selected. These two methods I will implement and then I'll include them after the on click method, method that I have already implemented earlier. So we will now we'll see the code being added in here after the onClick method here. Now we need to fill in some of the information for that code. So for onCreateOptions menu, um, what we need to do is to inflate the menu items that we have declared in the menu.xml file. To do that, we'll go in here and then say inflate the menu items for use in the, in the action bar. And then to do that, I'll say menu inflator get menu inflator. So this is, I get an access to the menu inflator, obviously and uh, import menu inflator and then the next step would be to inflate the menu um, that has been declared in the menu uh, variable so inflator dot inflate and then the menu resource would be r dot menu dot and then we have already declared the variable on menu and then the second one will be simply left as menu so we'll call it a menu there and so that's it for um, including the menu button into the uh, 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 into the action bar the, me uh, the menu item into the action bar now for on option item created so when uh, on option item selected the next um, uh, method to be implemented what we need to do is to go inside and then react to the condition where uh, that particular item gets selected. So for this, we'll go inside and we'll say handle the press of the action bar items. So we'll use a switch statement just like we used before. Item, so we, we have the item uh, coming in. So we'll say get item ID and we will use that for the switch statement in here and inside here we'll have to deal with the cases. K 
case r dot id dot action playlist that's the name that i used for the uh, action item that i put into into the menu variable and then also the second one would be for default um, for default i will simply Um, just return the on action item playlist and for our ID action item playlist what I want to do is to now invoke the playlist activity in here now we have already implemented the invocation of the playlist activity earlier uh, when we implemented the playlist button on the screen so I'm just going to go back to that code that I have used here for button playlist. I'm going to take that code and copy it and then paste it into my on option item selected right there. Because that is exactly the code that I want to, to execute in this particular case and then I would say return true so that will take care of uh, calling uh, uh, starting the playlist activity and then returning from this method in this particular case okay so with that change now uh, you should see that the playlist item will get created in the action bar on the screen. In addition, let's go back to the um, code and then we no longer will have the button playlist. So we can we can now get rid of the button playlist from the uh, from the user interface. So I'm just going to remove this particular code because I will no longer need it because this is going to be supported um, in the action bar. So I'll just get rid of that part of the code and also similarly I will go into my main.xml file which is the layout file and then I'm going to go, go ahead and remove the playlist button from the user interface. Okay, So once I do that I no longer will need the playlist button because the playlist button has now been shifted into the Android um, 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 playlist there. So I'm just going to go and then delete these items from my user interface because I will no longer need them. So my user interface is now more cleaner. The image view is right below the song title and the rest of them is uh, uh, well uh, set out there. So let me save the main.xml file uh, and then let's test it out. So we will run the music player and then some reason a, an error is cropped up here so let me just correct that error and then go ahead and run the music player you will notice now the button playlist button will now shift to the action bar and then when we click on the playlist button it should bring up the um, playlist activity and show a uh, list of songs on the user interface. So as you can see now the playlist button is shifted to the action bar when I click on it it brings up the list of um, songs that are there in my 
music uh, player. Okay, so this action bar item now works correctly. So the next point that I would like to add to this particular application is a gesture onto this uh, onto the screen so that when I do a right to left movement of my thumb on on or any finger on my uh, on the UI it should bring up the um, playlist to uh, let me select a song so to to implement the gesture on the screen what I need to do is I have to go to my beginning of my code and then implement two uh, uh, declare two variables here I would say gesture detector and then I would call it m detector okay so this is a gesture detector so I'm going to to import gesture detector and in addition I would uh, implement go into the code down below here after the action bar I'm going to, to implement the gesture detector here so I will come down here into the code and say m detector is equal to new gesture detector and this referring to this context and then I would declare a new gesture new gesture listener here. Now obviously this means that I have to declare a new gesture listener down below so which I am going to uh, to uh, declare below so I would I would say create the class instead let me just go ahead and then implement my gesture wrestler down below in addition I need to implement an on touch event for my uh, for my uh, activity so to do that what I will do is go to the, the music activity and then implement the source code. I will implement on touch. Now this is how you would implement gestures and gesture recognition. So on touch event. Oops, sorry, I don't want it up there. I want it inside the code here. So let me go ahead and do that one more time. Source override implement methods, and then I want to implement on touch event, and then I will add it after the on option item selected that I have already implemented. So for the on touch, when I go down, I have the on touch event implemented here, uh, on touch method implemented here. So uh, let me include the code for the on touch event. So I would say when a touch is uh, caused. I would simply let my gesture detector handle that on touch event. Now, in addition, I need to implement this class called the my gesture detector class. So that I will implement at the bottom of this file. So let me go down to the bottom of, of the file. Um, right here, I will implement my my gesture 
listener which is going to extend because I want to detect only some gestures so I will only implement some of the uh, gesture detections here not all so I will implement in here um, for this particular class I will implement only what I want to implement here is on on down motion event and then also on fling these two are the methods that I'm going to implement in this particular case on down and on motion event so for on down what I will do is I'm not going to handle the on down because I don't want to do anything when the uh, finger is put down I'll just return true to say that I have handled the on down but for on fling the items that are going to come in is the motion event event 1 and event 2 I don't really want to do anything with those two events so I'm just going to leave them as such now when the user flings the uh, finger from the right to the left then my the two parameters coming in velocity x and velocity y velocity x will be a positive number in this particular case so I will check to make sure that I am getting a velocity x which is a positive number in that case then I am going to react and then um, then start the playlist activity in this particular case so what I will do in this particular case is I'll say if velocity x is greater than 0 that means that I am flinging my finger from the right to the left then I want to be able to react and what I want to react is Uh, to start my um, playlist activity so recall that I have used the code for starting the playlist activity in here um, in my on options item selected so I'm just going to go and uh, simply grab that code copy and then paste it down inside this if statement and then this should take care of starting the playlist activity when I fling, fling my finger from, from the right to the left on the screen and that's about it so let me go ahead and save the code for my music activity and let's test out the gesture on the screen so now with this new version you will notice that when I do a right to left finger gesture the um, playlist activity will be started in this particular case. This is yet another way of uh, providing a convenient way for the user to be able to invoke the playlist. So to simulate the right to left finger gesture I will press down and then click on the left. Some, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it doesn't react properly but as you notice when I do that my uh, playlist activity now pops up on the screen to, to show it one more time there you go sometimes it doesn't react properly uh, on a real device it would normally do that more correctly you see it's also probably because of uh, of my uh, you know the clutchy um, movement of my finger so uh, it's not reacting properly one more time
on a real device this should react normally there you go sometimes the gestures are difficult to So that's how you recognize gestures on the screen. So with that, we'll complete the um, this section of the update to the music player.